This problem is asking us to evaluate square roots of perfect squares with signs. It says evaluate the following. Um, tap on not a real number if applicable. So the things that we need to remember, one is our perfect squares, and the, the, we need to understand what a square root is asking. A square root of some number y, we'll call it, is asking to find s some number when multiplied by itself that is equal to this y, or the number under the radical here. So if I'm looking and I see 144, so let's look at, let's evaluate this negative square root of 144. We're looking for some number when multiplied by itself that equals 144. x times x is equal to 144. And we remember that our perfect squares um, is just our natural numbers, what squared, what times itself equals 144, we know this is 12. 12 times 12 is equal to 144. Therefore, the square root of 144 is 12. But let's look at this negative sign out front. Just like we have with when we say x. We have some implied numbers when we say x. Well, how many x's do we have here? We have 1x, but we don't write 1x to the first power. These numbers are implied. Same thing when we say a root 144, the square root of 144, anything times 1 as itself, we always have this implied 1 out front, or 1 square root of 144, or 1 times the square root of 144. When we have a sign, we can think of this as negative 1 now, times the square root of 144. And this might be a little bit easier to understand and evaluate now. We know that the square root of 144 up here is 12. So now we have negative 1 times 12, which we can evaluate as negative 12, which is for sure a real number. So we would put in here negative 12 as our answer. However, let's consider if there is a negative under the radical. Is there any number when you multiply it by itself that can give you a negative number? If I have two negatives, negative x times negative x, two negatives when multiplied together equals a positive. Same as if I have a positive times a positive, it's also a positive number. So there's no number when multiplied by itself that can give you a negative number. And this, we introduced the idea of a negative square root as the number or the letter i it stands for imaginary which would be introduced at a later time so if we look here this number where it is negative 121 under our square root is not a real number so not real